Okay, so now that we've completed the geometry creation for exercise number six, I'm going to show you guys how to take that geometry and create a solid model from it. Now, if you're looking to learn more about solids, because really this video is going to be an intro to solids, please look for the solids DVD where I specifically focus on creating solid models in Mastercam from the beginner all the way to very extensive levels of designing. Let's go ahead and get started. So first what I want to do actually, I always like to do that, is to come over here under view and place the view in isometric view. This way I can see all of my features very easily. So right away the first thing I'm going to do is take this geometry right here, the outer geometry, and extrude that, make that into a solid towards this geometry by one and a half inches. So basically if I go back to my drawing, I'm basically trying to make this a solid from here to here. All right. So the first thing we want to do is to come over here under our solids tab and we're going to be focusing under create only under the extrude option. So go ahead and select extrude and you're going to have a very similar chaining dialog box appear. So just like selecting the toolpath, we're going to be selecting the chain for whatever we're trying to make a solid. So for example, make sure chain is selected and select this chain right here. Now this chain doesn't quite end all the way. Uh, outside all the way around so make sure to select this area right here to make sure your chain is all the way around your part and then select OK. Now right away you'll get a preview of a solid going to the left side okay by one inch. So extrude this is the first thing that you see is a name so you can actually call it a name if you like. We're gonna keep it as extrude alright. So the first option that you get is create body so the only option you get the first time you create anything is to create a body. You won't be able to cut a body or add a boss until you create a body. All right. So the second thing you see over here is the target. We don't need a target right now because this is a chain. And for create a single operation, that's exactly what you want. It's a single chain. All right. Now you actually have the options to reverse that and make it towards the right side if you wish. We're going to go ahead and click it one more time to go back to normal. Go ahead and scroll down over here where it says distance. So distance, this is the distance you're making it, the depth that you're creating the solid model to. We're going to change this to 1.5. All right. So you can actually select both directions as well if you want to see it go in both directions. We're going to leave it like that and we're going to select OK and then the plus sign because this will keep us in the extrude option and it will go to the next feature. The next thing I'm going to do is actually you select this chain right here. And I'm going to extrude that by one inch. So if I go back to my drawing, this distance from here to here is one inch. So I'm going to make this a solid block as well. So select that chain and then select OK. Now, now you will see that you can actually cut, which meaning cutting from this body, or you can add boss. Now, the difference between create a body and add boss is that whenever you use create body, those two entities are separated. And when you use a add boss, they actually are attached together. So you definitely want to make sure add boss is selected. Now, why would you use the add boss? That's because later on, after I create my three features here, I'm going to take this hole and I'm going to cut through my entire three sections. That will not happen unless you, they are all added together. If they're not all added bosses or added together, this will only cut up to here. Okay. So we need to make sure this section, this section, and the following section after that are all one entity. So for distance over here, we're going to change this to one inch and then select OK plus. So for the last section, I'm going to rotate my part and select this chain over here and then select OK. And this is going to be two inches. Hit enter and then select OK. So as you can see, we have our solids manager open and these are all the solids that we've created. If I expand that, you will see that I created my first extrude the second extrude boss and the third extrude boss. And you can go ahead and rename them if you wish to whatever you wish. If you go ahead and click on them twice, you will see that you can rename them right here. Now, if these are not part of each other, because these are all connected, they are under one entity. If you actually create another boss, for example, if I rotate this and I create an extrude again of this section right here and then select OK, and I make it go to the right, for example, but this time I'll create a body and then select OK. You will notice that that is created on its own term, its own boss. So go ahead and select this one and delete it. All right, by hitting the delete button. 
So last but not least, we're going to go ahead and extrude one more time, select this circle, and then select OK. This time, we're going to select the cut body, which basically cuts from whatever body there is. And I want to come down here and select through all. So this will basically cut through my entire part, as you can see. All right, and then select OK. And that's really it. Now, the only thing left is basically selecting these circles on the inside and also cutting them. Let's go ahead and do that. Select Extrude. And then you actually have to manually select all of these circles. And then select OK. Make sure Cut Body is selected. And if you go back to your drawing, you will notice that these are one inch in depth. They are a quarter of an inch diameter circles and one inch in depth. So go ahead and type in over here one inch but also make sure to change it into the distance. All right, now one thing you'll notice that it is towards the right direction. You need to make sure that this is actually facing the other way. Okay, to do that, you can come over here, either select this arrow right here to reverse. Okay, and then we're gonna have to change this to one inch because I did move this arrow. Now you can actually move it back and forth if you wanna manually input to wherever depth you want it to stop at, or I can type in over here one inch and then select OK. All right, now if I zoom in real quick, you will notice that it cut all of my circles one inch in depth. Now the only thing different from our model is that those are actually gonna end up having an angular hole. We're gonna be drilling to that depth, not milling. So that's the only difference that's gonna be there, but it doesn't matter for what we're doing right now. This is just to teach you guys a little intro on how to create a solid model from the geometry that you have. So now we're all set up and ready. We're gonna go ahead and set up the tool settings and the stock setup in the next video.